Here at Eastman's, it's backyard barbecue time. I'm Brandon Mason, this is Ike Eastman. Ike, what do we got going on here today? Well, today we're gonna cook some fruits of our labor from last fall, and you asked me how I do my steaks. So, it's real simple. I use uh, mesquite seasoning, uh, some A1 sauce, some liquid smoke, and some Worcestershire sauce. Don't ask me to say that four times. <laughs> I put them in a bag, in a, in a bag with, with the thawed out meat and I let it marinate for pretty much as long as you want, but I let it marinate for 20, 30 minutes. Once it's marinated, then I'll throw it on the, sm the smoker for about 20, 30 minutes, let it smoke good, and then flip them and then start cooking them and get them to the desired temperature. I, I like mine about 160. After it hits about 150 degrees, I'll pull it off and let it rest. Okay. You know, one of the cool things about what we get to do is we get to eat a lot of game. There's tons of benefits to that. What's some of the benefits of eating wild game versus some of your red meats that you buy from the store? Well, obviously it's very lean. Everybody knows how lean big game meat is. It's very good for you, good for your heart, circulatory system. It's also high in omega-3s, which is brain food. What most people don't commonly think of big game as is it's organic. That's kind of the hot term in food nowadays. And hunters have been eating organic for hundreds of years. That's what we do. There's nothing better than uh, good, healthy, big game that that's, uh, doesn't have any hormones added in, and it's just perfect. And the, and the best thing about this kind of organic food is hopefully it's gonna taste good as well. And what are we cooking it on today? Today we have a Camp Chef Smoker Pro God engineered wild game to be eaten over an open flame with wood. Today we're using, I believe it's hickory or applewood chips. When you smoke it like the Smoke Pro does, smokes it for 20 minutes and then you can heat it up, you can turn it up and, and cook it to the desired temperature. You don't have to smoke it for 20 minutes. I do, just because I love the taste of smoke. But you, you could prepare this meal in 30, 40 minutes easy. Let's put these things on and see. And we might, we might cook something else too. We'll get some asparagus going. Sounds good to me. I know you like to eat. <laughs> How done do you want it? I think that's one of the common problems with people cooking big game yep. is it can really change the taste depending on how, how rare or how well done that you actually get it. One of the things with wild game is people have a, a false tense thinking, oh my gosh, it's wild, so I gotta burn it basically and make sure there's you know nothing, get, nothing bad gets in there. In fact, actually because it's organic and because it's only been handled, like our meat has only been handled by us and the butcher, right. It's way cleaner, it's way better for you, and so you don't have to cook it as much as you would normally. And so, and in fact, if you overcook wild game, it'll ruin it, easy. Just like if, you know, it's like chew, chewing on leather. Right. So I cook mine to, like I said, I like it about 160 degree temperature. I'll pull it out of there about 150, because it will increase about 10 degrees, five, 10 degrees after you pull it out and let it rest. Well, we got the uh, steak, the beans, the asparagus, the rolls. Perfect meal, right? Looks fantastic. Hey guys, if you wanna see more stuff like this, shoot us a comment at the bottom of this. We're talking about recipes, if it's something that you guys have tried. Mm. Fantastic. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Eastman's Hunting Journals, so you can see more cool tips.